Hey guys and welcome to Book Read Friday. As you can see, for certain days of the week we're going to have special themes. And since it's Friday, I'm going to give you three really good books that I recommend that you should be reading. Reading books is a fantastic way of gaining knowledge. You can study textbooks, you can go to lectures, you can watch YouTube videos, you can do all of that. But a lot of knowledge that's available nowadays is in these fantastic books. So let's start going through my recommendations for this week. This week the focus is a bit more on medicine. So if you're applying to medicine, then these books are really, really good reads. So firstly is a fascinating book called The Rise and Fall of Modern Medicine by James Le Fanu. It goes through some of the most significant pharmacological discoveries that have been made in recent medicine. I think reading this book will give you a lot of content and ideas for interview questions, such as what is the most important drug discovery in the last few years? Or what is the most important discovery that has changed medicine in the last 100 years? So this book goes through everything from the revolutions in drug manufacture to how the development of medicine has actually slowed down. So definitely get your hands on this and start reading. This book, as I said, is more pharmacology based, one of the key parts of medicine. The next book is an absolute gold mine in terms of the quality of the written material in this book. A lot of medicine themed books nowadays that are popular are very much about emotions and about time management and all of that. Whereas Sherwin Nuland is renowned for his ability to incorporate medicine, scientific medicine, into written form. And How We Live is complemented by another fantastic book he's written called How We Die. But in this book, Sherwin Nuland goes through some really, really cool physiological features of our bodies. And he explains them in a very interesting manner where it'll actually encourage you to research what he's talking about even further. So if you want to expose yourself to a bit of physiology, how the body works, then this is a fantastic book for you to get into. A lot of the things you'll read in here, you might actually come across on work experience when you do do it eventually. So again, definitely go out and read it. Sherwin Nullen, one of the most renowned authors amongst the medicine world. I think this book is fantastic. So we've covered pharmacology, we've covered physiology. Another key part of medicine that you all will study is biochemistry, particularly genetics and DNA, and linked to that, developmental biology. So Nature via Nurture is a really, really interesting book talking all about how, although we have around 30,000 genes, how it's not just genes which determine the phenotypes of organisms that we see, particularly amongst humans. Matt Ridley refers a lot to identical twin studies, where in the past they've taken two twins, raised them up in different environments, and seen how differently they've developed. And that goes back to the title of the book, Nurture, highlighting how significant the upbringing and the environment is on the development of an organism or a child. So a really fantastic book talking all about epigenetics and how DNA can be modulated. And just because two things have very similar DNA, that doesn't mean they're going to look the same and act the same in real life. So this covers biochemistry. This week we've got three high quality, fantastic books that will make your medical application better. And it's not a requirement for you to read them, but all I can say is that the top tier applicants that are applying to the top medical schools generally read this sort of book. There are loads of many other fantastic books out there, but it's these high quality ones that are very much scientifically rigorous, written by acclaimed scientists and medics that admissions tutors really value. Reading this will just give you so much knowledge that when you go to interview, you can really talk the talk and explain how by reading loads of different things, you've been even more inspired to become a doctor. The links for all these books are in the description down below. Hopefully these books are available in the country that you live in. If they aren't, try and find an ebook online or alternatively, um, try and source them internationally. I'm sure there are book dealers that can source books from, let's say, the UK or the USA and get them sent out across the world. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed Book Read Friday. And if you did, do leave a like. And if you really enjoyed it, do subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye-bye.